love the challenge. That's why I do it. I love that I have no idea how an event like an Unbound or a Western States will go because it's so long and you can't, as much prep as you do, you aren't, you can't prep flawlessly for such long endurance events. It's stuff, stuff is going to happen out there mechanically, nutritionally, like you're going to have to get over things. And so, yeah, it's like the excitement of what's going to happen on the day. And can I get over them as quickly as possible? Or can I not have them out there? Can I execute a perfect day? Can you have that in such a long event? Is that possible? And can I personally do it? And I like that challenge of like, can you execute a 10 hour day flawlessly? And yeah, just nail the day. All right, what do we got going on on this glorious Wednesday? Today is the second week in our FTP work development, threshold development. So last week we did a variety of five by four minuteers, four minute efforts at around, a little above, a little below, with varying cadences, um, five by four minute threshold work. Um, the next one today is five minuteers instead of four minuteers, but there are six of them. And it's also more race-like efforts rather than just head down six by five minutes. It's, um, they are similar to a race scenario where you've gotten dropped or you see a group up the road and you have to go hard for 30 seconds, then settle in at threshold for four minutes and then go again for 30 seconds. So it's five minutes total but just doing threshold work in a more race-like scenario. So five minuteers today, yeah. four minuteers last week, five minuteers. Next week will be six minuteers. So we're building each week progressively. Um, but yeah, keeping the efforts race-like and fun, not just head down six by five minutes. Using the Wahoo app again? Yeah, so doing a lot of these on the Wahoo system app, it makes it fun, it guides you through it, it lets you ride alongside people. And this workout, it's called the bat on the app. It's actually one of the January challenges which is perfect. <laughs> so there are four rides this month that if you complete in the month of January, then yeah, you get the January badge. <laughs> but this is one of them. So, and then we're gonna do another one of the January options later in the month, because yeah. it's a mountain bike race. Yeah. <laughs> Around 30 seconds. Yeah.
Good job. Whew. How was that? That was so hard. You crushed it. Thanks, baby. Holy crap. Numbers look good. Thanks. I feel way better than two weeks ago. Certainly fitter. Stronger. Those are hard. The 30 seconds on the front and back ends. Talk quick about the numbers. People want to know. Um, well, the first 30 seconds, I was just picturing the start of a race that goes out hard from the gun, but also not like all out knowing there's 30 seconds left, 20 seconds left, 10 seconds left. So kind of a building hard. I think I was, I don't know, 300-ish range. I kind of built into it like 260, 70, 80, 90, 300 hold and then you had to settle for the four minutes and I could feel my legs clearing around the 215 to 220 watts um, I would do that for the first like one minute and say like clear clear they're clearing clear the legs out keep the cadence up and then settled in around that anywhere to 220 to 230 range the second I was getting higher I could feel my legs loading so that's if you can ride by feel and kind of know your threshold area um so i was just trying to hold not overdo it and then when there was 30 seconds left i was just picturing the end of the stage three of the oregon gravel grinder last summer i was riding with sophia and sarah max the three of us and there's a 1k to go sign and they were gone so Every 30 second, I was just like, there's the 1K sign, go. <laughs> and it was all out at the end, but. What I am looking forward to most in my pursuits of trail running and gravel racing is really the new challenge in front of me. I mean, it's, it's two sports that require completely not completely different training, but different focuses that than what I've been doing for so long now. I think I reached a point in Racing Iron Man where I just had it on repeat and it became the same thing over and over. And after a while, it's hard to look forward to doing the same thing again, where this is, I feel so invigorated, so re-motivated, so excited to go after these new challenges and the prep that both of them require. It's new and different and it gives me new stimulus, new things I have to learn to do or practice doing or um, things I need to work on on the bike and on my run um, than just the same thing that I had been doing for so long. So. For me, I'm just excited every day at working on these new things. Okay, late Christmas gift. <laughs> what arrived. could these be? Stevie, <laughs> open the present. Stevie, open it. Tear it open. Oh, yes! So exciting! Look at these, Stevie. Ooh, thank you. What are they? Look at these. What are they? These are poles. I don't know if there's a Four. technical term for them, but for trail running and the steep mountain trail runs, uh, people use poles to help, yeah, help those, you get up those hills. Those are the black diamond carbon 
poles that I did the research and they're supposedly some of the best, but if there are any trail runners watching and they beg to differ, we're open to suggestions. But Don't. I wait for those because they were super expensive and <laughs> <laughs> that means they were the best, That's right? Must mean they're the best. <laughs> and they're made out of carbon fiber, so they're yeah. light. And so we can put them in a pack and exactly. pull them out on that. Stevie. Hey. Stevie. Hey. No. So what what um yeah, thank you so what do we yeah. got planned you're going to use this right now what's the so i'm headed over for my butte hiking i realized that maybe some people don't know what butte is because i know when we moved to bend i didn't but butte that when i put that on strava it spells out like but but it's butte or like these steep volcanic kind of remnants here in central oregon so there are these really steep hills we happen to have a butte right by our house um, that I like. I've been running up for strength work, and it's super snowy out. Stevie, Stevie. Give me that. Stevie. So it is like the ultimate strength training run. Um, I've been doing it once or twice a week right now. Um, it's I don't even know the incline, but it is steep. Like you're not really running; it's hiking. So this is why these poles. Um, I think are going to really help. So I'm excited to use them, but it's about a four minute effort uphill. So you get that work in the snow, strength running, hiking, and then you get the eccentric loading running down, um, really putting that load on the quads and the glutes and building that up. So, um, I will probably do five today, um, five or six. We'll see how. Um, it's going, I'm going to run over there, which Stevie has been building up her endurance as well. So she's going to do them with you. She's going to do them. Yeah. Yeah. But last time I did them, I think it was in our last YouTube, we had driven over. It's only a mile, but she's built up now so she can run over, do the reps, jog home. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right. Ew. We got a lot going on. I'm thinking, oh, wow, you do have a lot. <laughs> we got a lot going on here. Well, I mean, it's pretty warm out. <laughs> Very warm out. We got the weight vest. Ah, excuse Bless me. You. <laughs> the weight vest, the puppy leash. The poles. Right. <gasps> what is it, girl? What is it? What is it? Are you excited? Okay. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Sit down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. You know what time it is. Okay. I got the poles. Come on. See you go. Be a good leasher today. She still doesn't like the leash. Okay, let's go, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Definitely got a new layer of snow. Okay. Number one, Stevie girl, you ready? Put these on. I wonder if you can go no gloves. No. Maybe. It's okay. Okay. For this first one. Okay. All right. Give these a go. Stevie, come on.
That was definitely better. A little bit faster, obviously. Hi. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> that was good. How are the poles? Oh yeah, poles are awesome. So helpful. You can totally see why people use them. Really helps a lot taking some of the strength required out of your legs and your arms and then balance, getting up super steep pitches. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. As I've done endurance events, Ironmans started shorter, half Ironmans, then Ironmans, and now these even longer bikes and runs. It's like that light at the end of the tunnel has been pushed out, meaning I reach the point where I'm like, oh my God, there's only, it used to be in say triathlons, there's only like 30 minutes left. You have, you know, four miles left to run or five miles left to run, um, only three miles left to run. And it was like, okay, 20 minutes to go, 15 minutes to go, you're good, you can handle this. And then, now in Ironmans, on the marathon, for instance, it became like, okay, you've run two hours, an hour to go. You got an hour left. And then when I did Unbound last year and Havelina Trail Race, it was like, okay, only 50 miles to go, which was like only four hours to go. <laughs> and on the trail run, okay, 20 miles to go, only 20 miles to go, which is insane when you think about it because <laughs> you still have 20 miles to run.